Volunteers in Riverside County staff took to the streets today for the 2022 homeless point in time count. This is where the county gets an idea of how many homeless people there are in different cities. News Channel 3's Crystal Jimenez brings us more. This where you slept last night. The homeless point in time count is back after it was canceled last year due to the pandemic. We collect new data and HUD uses uh, point in time count data to determine funding, uh, not only um, state funding, but also federal funding that comes into the county. Volunteers across the county walk the streets once a year to gather information from the homeless population. This year is the fifth year. Dee Dee Wilson does her part to help the homeless. I own a business on Palm Canyon, and so we're daily impacted by the needs of the homeless people. We have people who want to sleep in our parking lot and and we have people who are hungry or need water, or need access to uh, restroom facilities and while we're trying to run a business. So. The process is pretty simple. The volunteers approach someone who appears to be unsheltered, ask them if they can answer a few questions and then once they're done with that, they receive a bag like this one. We got a beanie, some socks. Um, toothbrush, uh, some gloves. Seems to be very beneficial, and I, I just hope that um, the resources that they, you know, say they can provide, uh, will, they can be able to follow up with. Because sometimes we get our hopes up for no reason. The pandemic posed as a challenge for this year's count. Volunteers were asked to mask up, keep a six feet distance, and sanitize often. But the weather played another difficult role in today's count. Because of the winter storm and the rain and the cold weather, um, that um, unsheltered people are seeking um, shelter in other locations, which makes it a lot more difficult for us. Official numbers won't be released for a few more months. Chris Jimenez, News Channel 3.